Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video we are here with August favorites. Yes, I'm a little embarrassed because I know we're already like almost done September, but honestly, I got back pretty much end of August. It has been so hectic for me trying to catch up on all my work and traveling a few more times. So trying to get this video filmed for me to just sit down for a good few hours is just, it has been tough. Anyway, with that being said, I'm excited to to bring you guys my August favorites. All these products especially have been loved by me while I was traveling and doing my Euro trip this year. So if you guys missed out on the vlogs, you can check out my Europe trip. I have a Lisbon vlog as well as a vlog on going to surf camp. And I also did a little bit of solo traveling again. So I did it for two weeks. I'm not sure if the vlog will be up by the time you guys see this, but there will be two. So make sure you stay tuned for those as well. So without further ado, let me get started right into this video starting with our usual category of jewelry. So this month I have jewelry favorites from both Majuri and Monica Vinegar. So as usual with Majuri I have 10% off if it's your first purchase so make sure you click on the link below and the discount will be automatically applied. I also have a discount with Monica Vinegar and it is 20% off. It doesn't have to be your first purchase. You can buy it anytime and you will always get 20% off and that link is also embedded below as well so if you click on it you will automatically get 20% off of the jewelry from Monica Vinegar. So anyway, starting with Majuri, I just want to say I see all of you guys' YouTube comments, DMs on Instagram, even some people have found me on TikTok to comment to this, but I do know I am owed you guys a huge Majuri Collections update and I will get to that as my next video, I promise you. When I have time to film again, that is going to be my biggest priority. So that video is coming up up soon but at least for today I do have four new items to share with you so the first item is the earrings that I'm wearing so these ones are the oversized thin hoops basically these earrings have actually been on my wish list also for a very long time ever since I saw my friend Siobhan wear it in Mexico which was already last year I've been eyeing them because it looked so nice on her super dainty these ones as you guys can see are really 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 oversized the other ones that I have are typically just I guess like half of the length but because it's so oversized it's still extremely dainty as you guys can see because of how thin it is it is also very easy to pop on and off and I'll show you like that basically it is just the circular part you'll just put this through the earring like so. So as someone who lives alone, this is very easy to put on, but I feel like most earrings are easy to put on anyway, but this one, just because of the size, it is still extremely, extremely easy to put on. I also find that it is pretty durable. Like I wear it pretty much everywhere. I wore it to Nashville and even just kind of like partying and stuff. It doesn't fall off easily at all. So I think the biggest surprise for me with this item is that it is extremely lightweight, which I was not expecting because when you look at it, it seems big and it seems like it could be heavy, but it's extremely lightweight and it is also 100% solid gold. Not like this is ever something I would wear to sleep. And you guys know me, you know I wear so much jewelry to bed, but this is still too big even for my standards. So I will still take it off. And because it's so easy to put on, I'll just like put it on the next day. So this is the first pair of earrings I wanted to share with you. The second pair of earrings I wanted to share with you as well is this pair of earrings right here. And I feel like when these earrings came out, I feel like it is no surprise that I got them because it's kind of a hybrid between the bold diamond hoops as well as a pearl earring. So this is what it looks like. And I actually wore this all throughout Europe and I never really took it off except for at surf camp. So you guys can check out the earrings in my Europe vlogs. These are the earrings I was predominantly wearing. And for the last month on TikTok, it was also the most asked question. It was, where are your earrings from? So that's where it is. It's from a jury. Just a really funny story about these earrings is that when I was at surf camp, first day of surfing, I just wasn't sure it, how tough the waves are gonna be or if I was gonna get smacked with the surfboard because I'm a newbie. So I decided that it would probably be smart for me to just take off all my jewelry because I just didn't want to lose anything. And since it was a whole week of surf camp, I was just gonna keep all of my jewelry off. So I, classic me, 
with ADHD took off one earring. So I took one of these off and then I forgot to take off the other one and then I went surfing and someone in the comment section of the surfing vlog even said, where is your other earring? Like, why did you, how did you randomly lose it? So the truth is I didn't lose it. I just forgot to take it off. And the funniest part is that it actually didn't even come off in general. So I didn't even have to take it off. I guess what I'm trying to say is that these earrings are even really durable for surfing. So if that is something you guys are also into, you don't need to take it off when you surf. The third item that I wanted to share with you guys is the snake ring. I feel like if you guys have been following my Majuri collections video for a while, you will know that this snake ring has been on my wish list for a really long time. And I have always just been like, I just want the snake ring, but I don't know why something still never possessed me to get it until this time I'm like, yay, I'm finally doing it. I got the ring and it is just everything I had hoped it would be. I feel like I would wear this and a lot of people would ask me where it's from, especially when I was in Europe. So this is definitely, you know, such a statement piece. I wear alone, one of the only rings I don't really stack, okay? Um, so this one's a pretty good statement piece as well. The third item that I got from a jury is actually another item that I already have, but in white, gold so this is the ring that I'm talking about it is the beaded ring in white gold okay if you guys know already I have the beaded ring in solid gold and it is always on my thumb and now it has a companion it has a roommate and they were roommates oh my god they were roommates this is what it looks like stacked and it is two-toned one is white gold and the other one is solid gold or yellow gold I should say if you guys are unfamiliar about how you can you know kind of style your jewelry in like a two-toned style mixing silver yellow gold and white gold I actually have a tutorial on that and it's all featuring Majuri products as well so you guys can check that out as well after this video so moving on to Monica Vinegar I feel like this is really exciting because I have actually loved Monica Vinegar products a long time ago, but I feel like recent jewelry trends is stating that statement jewelry and silver jewelry or like white gold jewelry is really, really making a comeback because I feel like solid gold, you know, dainty yellow gold jewelry had its really big moment, but now the trends are back to a lot more statement-y. A lot of silver and white gold is making a comeback. And for me personally, in preparation for my trip to Europe, I knew I wanted to have a more heavy silver jewelry styled summer just because I knew that I was going to get a tan and I just feel like when you have a tan the contrast between your tan and silver is just oh such chef's kiss you just it stands out so well that I just knew that that summer I was going to have a lot more silver jewelry you can actually even see it in this Instagram post here I wore all the Monica Vinegar silver jewelry products all together it just looks so good with my new tan and I'm here to share what these products are so the first item that you can actually see in the picture are these hoop earrings here and these are very bold statementy silver hoop earrings and I just really 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 love this like you can see just how thick they are I'm actually just gonna put it on and show you guys real quick as you guys can see it's just such a statementy piece and it still looks good right now with you know my mini tan because it's fading and it's fading quick so I feel like I need to go tan again anyway but anyway this is what it looks like and also just for contrast this is like the size of the different hoops as well as you can see but I absolutely love these silver earrings I wore it basically all summer the other item I wore all summer as well is this silver necklace right here. I feel like this really reminds me of the Majuri version of the serpentine necklace that I have in solid gold. It just looks like liquid metal, you know? I love that look. It looks like it melted onto my skin. The same thing with this necklace, you guys. I wore this necklace and I forgot to take it off while surfing because I took off the one earring and just forgot about everything else. So I did not take this necklace off and I surfed with it all week. You can also wear it like this. This is a clasp in which you would put it on. It's actually not that tough for me um, compared to the clamps because the clamps are so hard with my nail and stuff like that. But this one isn't a clamp. So it actually is pretty easy to put on. But yeah, like I said, you can wear it either showing that little clampy thing or you can just wear it like this where it just seems like a chain necklace. The third and fourth item are these two silver rings that I have and I'm wearing right here. Once again, love, love, love the silver for the summer, especially not even just 
just the summer, but like especially in the summer um, and especially against my tan. I also feel like this material right here, if you guys can see the green, it just gives off European vibes. I don't know how to explain it. I think it's because like if you guys have been to Europe, if you guys have seen pictures from Europe or been to Europe, you'll know that they have a very interesting and colorful color scheme. Like in Greece, it's like you have the blue in like Portugal, there's like blue, green, etc. So I just feel like this material and this color reminds me so much of Europe. So when I saw it on the site, I was like, oh my God, I need that for my Europe trip. So I brought it with me. The last item that I wanted to share with you guys is another set of earrings. And once again, it is silver. I'm also gonna put this on to show you, but this one is just such a cool material. This is just like super, just like malleable and just like, oh my God. When you put it on, it just looks so cute, like so. I am so in love with these earrings. Like, look, look at this. I just feel like this is like the perfect, like you wear it with a nice cocktail dress and it is just such the vibes. I think I'm actually gonna wear these earrings to my university reunion that I'm going to basically right after I film this video. But I, I love these earrings so much. Okay, so that's pretty much it for jewelry. If you guys haven't tried Monica Vinader, I highly recommend it because honestly, their jewelry is such great quality and a lot of their stuff is, you know, more gold for me and sterling silver. But you guys know me and my living habits and I feel like I just don't even really take it off. Not that I encourage it, but I'm just saying as someone who isn't very like diligent in taking off her jewelry, I have to say the jewelry lasted. Like this has been with me through surfing for a week. So just to give you guys an idea, um, and because you have 20% off, definitely is time to invest. You can also buy it at Nordstrom if you're a Canadian as well, but unfortunately for Nordstrom, you would not be able to use my discount. So, you know, I mean, I would probably do the discount. Okay, moving on to the next category, which is beauty. So to be honest, in the month of August, I didn't try too many makeup products because most of August, since I was surfing, I wasn't really putting on my makeup. I was just doing a lot more skincare. So I do have a lot of amazing travel skincare products to share with you guys. And I feel like I wanna do a whole travel skincare segment because when it comes to skincare products and traveling, I have two big requirements, okay? The first one is the packaging, okay, needs to be good. What is defined as good is basically it is lightweight enough, it holds a lot of product, but it doesn't take up a lot of real estate, okay? You only have so much room in your luggage, especially now with all the chaos that is going on in the entire world with their airports, so many people are trying to avoid checked luggages now. So it is more important now than ever to invest in like travel size products. So I love also if they are refillable. And you guys know, this is not in the favorites video this time because I've already shared it, but I will reshare it. For example, one of my favorite products to travel with is this Dermalogica travel toner because not only can I refill it, so it's great for the environment, so I can just keep refilling with my current toners and stuff like that. But also this holds so much product and it doesn't take up a lot of weight or a lot of room. It has just enough packaging for you to need it as a package, but it doesn't do a lot of like excess packaging that you don't need. That being said, for my favorite travel products this month, the first one is this kit by Summer Friday. Okay, there's like an entire kit on Sephora and you buy it and it has all three products, but I have also reviewed the products individually and individually the product themselves, like the formulations are so good as well that overall this entire kit, I just feel like is such a great investment for traveling. So the kit comes with this bag, which as you can see, I already put some additional travel skincare products in here as well. What the kit comes with is this vitamin C serum right here. The vitamin C serum itself is amazing. There's also so much of it. I use it for one entire month. Okay, I mean granted only in the mornings because I only use vitamin C in the morning It holds so much product and it doesn't take up a lot of room or it doesn't take up a lot of weight You can also twist this so that it locks and it won't kind of like get messy all over your bag So there is this one that I really like the other item that comes with the pack is also their oil-free gel cream Moisturizer this one. I also use during the day and once again look at how big the opening is. So sorry, the product inside now isn't the gel-free moisturizer. I actually finished it and this is 
my refill of another moisturizer now but the gel free moisturizer is absolutely amazing it is so great under makeup if that's what you want but it's also great as a daytime moisturizer because it's very lightweight a brand new one lasted me the entire month as well once again just for the mornings but it lasted me an entire month so even if you're going on a two-week trip I feel like it would be absolutely amazing to bring with and the last item that comes in this package is the summer Friday super amino gel cleanser and this is what it looks like once again super light packaging holds a lot of product I am nowhere close to finishing this product yet mostly because for my facial cleansers I usually bounce between my oil cleansers my cellar water and the Dermalogica microfoliant so I don't always use a gel cleanser but this is such a great one to bring along with you my only complaint about this packaging is that it is unrefillable like after you use this product that is pretty much it but for the one-time use and for the sake of buying this set along with the bag I honestly think it's super worth it on to the next favorite travel product the next one that I really like is this mini size by fresh and this is their rose serum so this is the serum that I use at nighttime. So this is why I use the vitamin C during the day, the rose serum at night. I felt like this was extremely, extremely good for my skin as well because as someone that was surfing and was under the sun all day and couldn't wear a hat or sunglasses, my face was constantly exposed in the sun and I felt like this was a very good hydrating serum at night to kind of help replenish and hydrate my skin from being out in the sun all day. The last item I wanna share with you that is also a travel product is the Travel Super Goop unseen sunscreen and this one is the one that I used once again every single day for an entire month and more and I would say I still have a lot of product once again love the packaging it's super lightweight um it isn't refillable honestly but I don't think you would want to refill your sunscreen anyway but this one it was my first time trying super goop and I have to say I absolutely love the texture of the sunscreen it is just very it's like non oily I'm gonna show you guys so when you push it out it kind of reminds me of the Smashbox primer if you will so this is what it looks like you can see that it's clear and when you put it through it isn't oily and it doesn't have that tacky feeling of sunscreen that a lot of people hate so this one is very like invisible it just genuinely feels like you didn't even put on anything so a lot of the times when I was surfing I would just wake up in the mornings and I would just like slap on the sunscreen and call it a day if I was in a rush but this sunscreen oh, oh my god I have nothing but good things to say about it it's SPF 40 yeah it's also water and sweat resistant which is what I needed for surfing as well definitely check out this product as well okay moving on to hair products so I have two favorite hair products and this is actually not just from the last month it has been I would say like a month and a half or two months I didn't share it before because I didn't use it for the full month and you guys know how strict I am with that so the first one is actually the thick treatment it is a hair mask it is actually by a local hair salon and she just does an amazing job the founder's name is Morgan I absolutely love her energy her studio is beautiful and just if you are in Toronto definitely check out her entire studio and get your hair done there but also their products are absolutely amazing so their hair mask let me just show you I don't know if you can see in the camera with the light but I I am done like it's done like literally I have like just maybe like I only have like a oh my god it almost fell I only have literally like this much left a life hack that my friend Sarah told me actually is if you are into that trend with like gelling your hair back which I am not because I feel like I look like a naked mole rat but anyway but what she taught me was that you can actually use a hair mask on dry hair as your gel so instead of using actual harsh gel you can use this and only use gel at the end if you really need like extra strong holds so not only is this good for first of all hydrating your hair the entire day if you want to do this hairstyle but also it's just such a great way to like double use your products and it's like way less harsh than actual like heavy chemical gel so that's definitely the life hack that Sarah shared that I will never forget it is so good even a lot of times like when I want to tie up my hair and I don't want wispies I will just use a hair mask to kind of like tidy my flyaways so definitely check that out the last product I want to share is also by thick themselves and it is their hair oil I just really like this as a daily hair oil there's a little bit of a scent in it but not too strong that is overwhelming I just really really like it it also looks super aesthetically pleasing it also uses amazing ingredients which I will also list here as well so definitely check it out I feel like my only tiny complaint is that like I feel 
feel like the applicator sometimes takes a really long time to pour out the oil so I get very impatient and I don't even use the applicator like I literally will just like take this product out and pour the hair oil directly onto my hands because I just feel like the applicator is a little too slow for me that's honestly the only complaint i have about that hair oil otherwise i am absolutely in love moving on to my last category which is clothing i wanted to share some of my favorite things that i wore in europe and these ones are practical so very relatable okay you don't need to be traveling to be wearing this the first one are these shorts by garage okay after owning the black one and beige ones i now want them in every single damn color you will not understand understand these are like sweat short vibe you will not understand how often I wore these shorts like I wore them so often that you can kind of see that the fabric now is like a little bit starting to pill and it's kind of starting to get like worn out because that's how often I wore it this summer it is not only comfortable but I feel like the style like some companies honestly don't want to call them out but Aritzia okay I do love Aritzia but their sweat shorts they just can't make my crotch area look nice. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something is like off. Like, I don't know what it is, but every time I try on an Aritzia like sweatshirt, I'm like, it's like tight in like the band. It's a little too tight, but then like a little too flared out everywhere. I don't know. It's just like, I never could end up buying one from Aritzia because I, first of all, it's really, really expensive. But also I was just like, this does not make me look good. So I finally found a pair. Okay, and now I'm gonna buy it in every single damn color. I'm gonna link the exact link below, but these sweatshorts I wore every day basically in Europe. So I'll actually leave a picture here of me wearing it and I styled it actually with a bathing suit and also I just wore it with like a casual t-shirt as well. So I've styled it with a bathing suit, I've styled it whatever, like honestly, I can just I can just always wear these. So it's super, super cute. I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable and it's not too tight at the waistband. And the best part is that it's not that expensive. Like garage items are just so reasonably priced and that's why i just love them and they're canadian also just fyi okay the next two items is from the same family so it is also the garage sweat sets but this is the garage sweat pant that i got make sure you click the link below also because i know that they have different styles of sweatpants so if you want the exact same ones as me just use the link below otherwise obviously <laughs> You don't have to shop exactly the way I do, but you know, like if you are looking for the exact one, the link is below or you can try a different style. But I just really, really like this style because like I said, it just, it goes so well with everything and it's so comfortable and it's not too tight at the band and it is just so reasonably priced. So I got this and then, then I went ahead and got another color and I think I'm just gonna keep collecting these colors actually the other color that I have that I recently got is the heathered gray one and I wore it to New York Fashion Week it looked so good but then Anna my friend Anna which was she was also in one of my previous New York vlogs she stole them okay no she didn't actually steal them she borrowed them and then put it in her suitcase so now I don't have it anymore but yeah everyone loves them honestly just everyone's obsessed with them and then the matching sweat top is this one right here I would say stick true to size it's the perfect amount of oversized so I still got it in a small and their entire sweat set I'm just I cannot say any more good things about it I'm obsessed quality material just style like everything and comfort just use the link down below if you want the exact same ones they also come in multiple different colors but anyway with that being said that's pretty much the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video and miss my favorite videos I'm so sorry that this one is late but the next one will be more on time for September favorites I hope to see you guys soon and thank you guys so much for watching bye